Well, welcome back everyone. It is 847 on our Wednesday morning and Rebrew Spirits with us this morning. They say we're, it's where craft beer dies and goes to heaven. Rebrew takes unsold local craft beer and repurposes it into liquor. We have Curran and Caroline from Rebrew Spirits joining us here this morning to talk about uh, number one, long ball. And then number two, just your guys' facility uh, down in the South Bay and just what you guys have been doing in general. So thank you both for being with us this morning. Thanks for having us. Uh, for starters, I want you to talk about long ball specifically because people may notice if they're watching a little bit of a, a golf setup around this. So tell us about long ball. Yeah, so long ball kind of uh, derived on the golf course. Um, on the third hole, I was trying to keep up with all the guys <laughs> doing all the shots and realized I couldn't. So I wanted to come up with a very sessionable really approachable low sugar content shooter and it evolved into the long ball and soda as well so it's a hard lemon iced tea it's uh 23.5 percent of the bottle and then we have a five percent and a ten percent option oh in the cans. cool okay so, yeah. some options yeah exactly. we've got we've stuff. got something for everybody uh tell us about rebrew i mean how what's the process like of turning craft beer into hard liquor um, well, we take kegs from breweries all over San Diego, mm -hmm. um, and they have kegs that can't be sold for myriad reasons. Mm -hmm. um, so we take all of that uh, wasted beer and we turn it, we distill it, so we heat it to high temperatures and distill it into spirits. So we make vodka, gin, whiskey, absinthe, and now long balls are our newest baby. A lot we of do. options there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I also saw online pictures of your guys' location. Beautiful. It's gorgeous down there. So can people just come and try out the different types of spirits that you have? Do you have beer there too? Is it just the spirits? We're uh, neighbors with Thorn Street Brewing. Cool. It's right next door. So we actually call it the Acre of Awesome because ah. between all three properties, it's a full acre. So we've got um, you know a speakeasy within our spot. We have a side yard, which we host thousand people music festivals yeah. and whatnot so it's really fun down there but yeah we, you can book tours online um, we actually have a fun little family and friends this Friday from four to seven that we're showcasing cool. the long ball so it should be really fun so you can walk or stumble perhaps exactly. yeah, yeah whatever works um, I do want to bring in our very own Chris Grow into the picture <laughs> he's been anxiously <laughs> awaiting on the side um, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah you have yeah, the golf swing that's about to occur we have a little bit of a setup here because you mentioned how this kind of came to be uh, over the course of the farmers open right so what does uh, what does this entail what's the competition going to be for us here who wants to We're going to do a little chipping contest. Okay. I don't do things I'm not good at, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. I don't either, and so that's why I enlisted Chris. So this is how I got roped in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if you I'll want me to chug a long ball, right, I can see. do oh, that, okay. but yeah. I can't yeah. chug. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, who will want, do you want, I think You're you said all, in I a mean, I'll do it. Exactly. I'll do it. You, I don't know it's, that it's going to go one. well. I did, so get you off camera, here. I did make one. Okay. All right. All that we'll cross we'll this thing, Yeah, you know. All right, we'll see what happens. We're going for the eight here, so that's the goal. Woo oh, that was All pretty right. close. Not too bad. Close. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's definitely going to be kind of a, kind of a hard one here. But uh, guys, I think what's really cool about long balls, you mentioned, is the different varieties you have there, the different alcohol percentages. Mm -hmm. How is that achieved? Is that just through the process of maybe letting it distill a little bit longer? How do you, how do you kind of switch that up? It's all about the amount of alcohol that you add into it. So okay. it's. Uh, it's a fortified apple wine, so it's just a matter of how much ethanol you put That's in it. Chris. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. All right, almost. <laughs> um, can we crack one of these? Yeah, yeah. please. Yeah. You said these are 5%, these are 10%. Yeah. Um, and then remind us what the other spirits that you have on hand are. What's this one? What type of alcohol is this? Is this is the same. This, this is, is a, a fortified ball apple ball. wine. This okay. is long ball. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, itself. Ooh, there we right, go. Chris. Nothing like start Got you the big Oh, he's got the double. The oh, morning. yeah, a little ten percent to yeah. get you yeah. started. Yeah, we're giving you the ten percent. Fresh right? off the streets. Let's go. Right. Cheers. Oh, I love it. Oh wow, oh, it's delicious. Th this would be great on the golf course. Yeah, yes. right. It really would be. Exactly. We like yeah. it because it doesn't have that like aftertaste of like medicinally. Right. You can no. drink it all day. It doesn't right. sit in your teeth. It's just a really approachable all day long kind of we wanted to make something too that you could drink all day on the golf course and then right. segue into the night take a shot in the clubhouse of the, <laughs> and then just keep there drinking them keep it know? rolling tell yeah. us about the sustainability side of things too we know that's a big part of what you guys do yeah it's huge we're all about um giving back and keeping the waste the 
waste out of the wastewater yeah. system. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we've we actually saved over 10 million pints from going in the wastewater wow. system just by our upcycling process. In order to dispose of a keg appropriately, it could cost upwards of $40. So wow. all of these breweries see such an added value in yeah. us because they see, oh, we can dispose, get our deposit back from our kegs and, you know, just yeah. help with the cycle of giving back to the environment. Just a few more seconds left. Remind us uh, your guys' website where people can go for more information. So for Longball, it's longballshooter.com. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all of that. And then uh, Rebrew Spirits is our... Lovely. Caroline, Karen. Thank you so for much for us. having us. We appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you. Have appreciate a great you. Day. Nice job. Yeah. We'll right great right. work. <laughs> Good job, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. you guys want a t-shirt?